and resolves. The graveyard and uh, oh yeah, flip. Jeez, but yeah. then the second one, we'll do this. Yeah, we'll do the same and re redo all the you know what you just did. So interesting. He drew the pyromancer after all, and now he's got. He feels safe to play with four yeah. mana. Yeah, yeah he's, he's got, got remand. He's got mana and he's got a lightning bolt, so he's got he's got a lot of options. This is uh, this is actually very good. Spirit guide. Spirit, just cast. Yeah. yeah. Get in there, spirit guide. That guy's that guy's gonna get frisky. You gonna, you gonna counter this? No. This has got to be a bolt on spirit guide. Uh, he has K command for it too, but yeah, you're right. I but think I think just getting the clock, you know, yeah. making it so he can attack for three on this turn. Geo not forgetting his uh, Dylan Donegan elemental tokens. Fair uh, enough. I prefer the corset token. The corset ones are beautiful, actually. Yeah. I mean, no offense to Dylan Donegan, I'm sure he's a nice kid, but yeah. So Geo's but yeah, sitting pretty comfortable. <laughs> he's got counterflux and remand in hand. Right. This is this is a this is a healthy clock. I like this a lot. And you know, with the counter magic, it's just going to get more fiercer. Yeah, and if Felipe doesn't go for anything too crazy, he could even consider just K commanding. You know, discard a card, shock, just yeah. to make another elemental. I mean, it, it's pretty obvious that his action is relatively low. Like nothing, nothing has really happened here. Yeah. And this uh, this living is going to get hit with a remand. I'm pretty sure. Oh well, no, but we drew a violent outburst. Um, but there's really, I mean, there's three creatures in the bin. There's Simeon Spirit Guide, Fulminator Mage, and Carabid. Sure, but at this point, he's got to just use Living End for the Wrath Effect. Yeah, Because right? the Spiremancer will kill him in short yeah, order. I, I, I honestly think that. So this first one, I think he's going to have to use that as bait for Geo. And Geo has five mana, which is the two counter spells. You know, he's got the... Um, Remand. Remand and plus the Counterflux. Counter yeah. So Felipe can actually... I'm surprised he didn't see a Suspend of Living End on this turn. I think staggered two turns apart. Is better. It's fine. Yeah. yeah, I think that's a fine play. Especially with like Fulminator Mage, which you can sack, you know, at, at on demand. Mm -hmm. I would have been a fan of suspending the second living end in his hand that turn. Coming in for three. He's gonna let this happen. So yeah, he's just gonna try and have this fight over the first living end and then I assume he's gonna go for a demonic dread uh after this gets countered. So there's gotta be a remand. Jeez, remand is so brutal. It's not bad against these uh, suspend cards. Actually, the, the counterflux is particularly good here, just because it, it 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 can counter like the spell and the the spell that cascades and the living end, right? If you had enough mana. If the spell that cascades is relevant, yes. Yes, but they usually aren't. They are you know giving his team plus one plus zero, or making a pyromancer unable to block. Not particularly relevant here. So living end's gonna get remanded back to Felipe's hand. Geo's gonna draw, and then Felipe's gonna draw for turn. So Geo has a Seer Visions, but he still has this backup uh, Counterflux, which uh, is going to prove to be pretty good because I think Felipe is going to try to go for it. I think he has to. I mean, Geo could have another counter spell, and if he does, that's I unfortunate. Mean, but do you want to? Uh, I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe just to spend another one. This is this is a lot of pressure, but yeah, this, he's at ten. Yeah. And there's a tarpit. Like this is almost a two-turn clock. Yeah. I I think you have to go for it here, and this Demonic Dread is the worst one, so it's got to be Demonic Dread because there's timing restrictions on when you can cast it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Pick it up the deck already. Well, that's fine. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. That's right, that's right. If Geo tries to counter this Demonic Dread, he will be sad. All right, so he sees the Ricochet Traps. I wonder if uh, Geo actually even knows what Rick that card does. I mean, it's, it's pretty par for the course for these Living End decks to oh, have yeah, Ricochet Trap. You know, 100%. just because there's very few ways to count uh, to fight counter magic with the CMC 3 or more restriction. Mm -hmm. uh, I am uh, I'm surprised we actually didn't see more Living End decks during oh so he does the yeah <laughs> he does the overloaded one is this lethal but no he's a ten so the tarpit activation if he draws a land he can K command to eight and then tarpit do five eight okay so if, if Geo draws a land he's got lethal mm -hmm. with the K command and the tarpit right right assuming right. there's three black sources there are three there are three black sources okay well I was a uh, as I was mentioning I think I'm really surprised there weren't more living index running around when Eldrazi was more of a threat like this deck is is like really good against them it's true yeah definitely. But uh, I guess yeah, that is what happens. But then, I mean, it, it depends on the exact configuration. Because if the Eldrazi decks are playing Chalice for zero, Living End gets a lot harder to actually resolve. That's true. So, so that was, like, fairly early on. Yeah. No land for Geo, so I don't think he can kill him this turn. And he doesn't have any counter magic. So he's got to be a little afraid of Felipe resolving a Living End, but, but I think we but know... But he doesn't know, yeah. He doesn't know there's none in the deck. <laughs> you know, there's one in the yard and two in his hand. I mean, Felipe must pre feel pretty pretty unfortunate right now. I mean, wh his outs are to, like, to start casting these big, huge cyclers, but... I, I don't think he has outs. Um, no, I don't think he has outs either, but I, uh, again, knowing knowing Felipe, and he's yeah. not going to scoop him up. He's not going to scoop, even though no. he knows he yeah, can't win? even though he knows. He's I mean, gonna, He's going to make Geo make Geo do it. So, even if, I, even if I was on the other side of this, I think I still attack here, because... Um, yeah, I still, I still... Yeah, it's 
fine. All right, he, scoop it up. He just he has actually yeah. just scoop it up. He knows he's gonna show Geo. Yep, I've got no living ends in my deck. My <laughs> cascade spells do nothing. Yeah. Good game, sir. So, a little bit of interesting choices uh, in that game, in particular. I, yeah. I, I Geo's bottom of the young pyromancer on turn one makes no sense. I, I mean, I I just think it's. It, it has to do with how he's assessing the role in the matchup. Maybe he's the kind of guy that's like, I want to leave up my answers, mm -hmm. and then once I'm situated, got plenty of stuff to leave up, then I'll start trying to kill you. As yeah. opposed to get the clock down and then hold up the answers. Like, there's two kind, two kind of different ways of thinking about it. Yeah, but I mean, so so the way that the way that I look at it, so if you go to Serum Visions and you see the young Pyron, so why don't you just want it in your hand to begin with? Like, I think that's that's reasonable. Like so, oh, like when, and maybe not deploy it right yeah, away, but just have it. Yeah, because that way, that way, on your your subsequent Serum Visions, for example, like mm -hmm. you don't need to keep, you don't need to be looking for an answer. It's in your you hand. You have the answer. Yeah, you have. I'm sorry, you have your clock in your hand. Sure. Right. So I think that's for me. That's that's what I would how I would prioritize it. Because looking at my hand, if I have two counter spells and then like reasonable amount Lands of burn, and, yeah. and, and I would I would love to have that that uh, the option of that young pyromancer. Right. And I, I agree with you. Like I said, I, I would be I would be happy playing it on turn two on the play against Living End because yeah. their their turn two. Uh, combo, mm -hmm. it's got to be worth very little. Yeah, it's, it's got to be like maybe one cycler and then as many street wraiths as they draw. Yeah. So I think at, wor at like the very worst case scenario, I'm facing down like a street wraith and a cycler. Mm -hmm. And that's definitely something I can come that's back from. That's yeah, yeah, beautiful. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah. Especially with a young two, two lightning bolts in hand. Right. And, like yeah. Well, young pants would get wrathed if if that he oh, were to right. Oh, right. tap if out he, for If he goes it. on yeah. turn two, yeah. But uh, you know, but I think the impetus being on Geo, he has to like he has to make he has to make Felipe do it, have it right. Mm -hmm. Like and and in that position, because he has counter counter spell backup, he he gets rewarded for Felipe having to like rush through and, and get through this pressure. Yeah. So. And do, do you know what I think Felipe <laughs> would benefit from? Go ahead. Not not drawing uh, living ends. Oh yeah, I think maybe if that doesn't happen this game, uh, it'll go a little bit better for him. Yeah, maybe. for sure. I'm not like I'm not 100 sure. Well, the thing is, against these blue decks that have remands that have all these counter spells, you it's gonna happen need anyways, to yeah. you need to have multiple living ends in your deck. Anyway, yeah, oh. You have to. You think? Yes. Because, you know, it's pretty much, it's going to be hard to resolve the first one. You know, Geo's obviously boarding into more counter magic. His mm -hmm. main deck has uh, four, uh, four counter spells at least? Four, it was at least four mono Oh, no, it was two mono league, two remand, and uh, the spell snares are obviously dead and gone. So four. Actually, it's just four, four counter spells. Four counters main. main deck, and he brings in three more. He brings in three more. Yeah. So you have to slug through these. Uh, your combo wins the game. Geo can't really hate the graveyard effectively. Uh, he does have no. one damnation, which is effectively a, an answer to one living end. Yeah, only one. But other um, than that, and it might it, it sometimes might not even be because if you get any amount of uh, fulminator mages, sure, you can just take them off. Well, first I think the first thing you take off of them is blue, but if you take them off like black as well, then but that's goes, if that's a, if it's on your radar. I can't imagine that Felipe wouldn't have it on his radar, like. Damnation, I mean, it's certainly a powerful card, but not that prevalent in modern. Like, occasionally it'll see, like, a one-of in sideboards. That's true. It's extremely this, expensive. This style that's, the, that's the big thing. Yeah. It's, it's prohibitively expensive. But, you know, Fulminary Mage is how much? Also, like, 30 bucks. Yeah, and both these decks have, like, seven between them. Yeah, I think so. I think Geo's got three. Yeah. Uh, Geo has three. Geo has three, yeah, and Fleet Baby has four. So seven between them. I, I mean, maybe, maybe talking about prohibitive magic cards is not the actual way we want this conversation to go. But like, let's see. Does he have anything? Fleetplay has, has two a, lands, a couple lands, enablers, and a Simeon Spirit Guide. I don't see many cycling. I, I think I see one cycling card. I can't tell them. No, maybe maybe he doesn't has, have any. I don't think I don't see any cyclers. Yeah, I think he's gonna ship it. Yeah. So he has ways to enable a living end start, but no ways to, no ways to actually. Um, I don't know. Do anything. Really. No, you can't keep that. Even if you have a bunch of uh, cascade cards, which was the case. Of course. He, they don't do anything. Like, yeah. if you don't fill your graveyard with creatures, what good are they? Eh, it's a wrath. <laughs> but that's, <laughs> that's obviously true. not happening. I mean, I mean, yeah. Yeah, it can be. Like, if, if yeah. Geo plays a pyromancer and starts casting, I mean, it is a wrath. That's, yeah. That, but that is, I yeah. mean, again, like, as we talked about, it's a significant amount of pressure. Like, he, Geo has enough one mana spells and lightning bolts, so it can it can add up very very quickly. Sure. You know, and even at, in such a case, it can at instant speed. So if you just need to wrath the board because this young pyromancer is really getting in, sometimes you just got to wrath the board. Did you get a good look at Geo's hand? I did not. He um he just shuffled up really fast, saw a couple lands I think, and then put his put his hand down. Now he's waiting for Philippe to figure it out. And how, uh, how many counter spells do you think he he snap keeped right? How I, many how many counter spells do you think? He I think it was like two or three. To be you think honest, two or three. Yeah, but like see, I I don't even know. Okay, on the play. It's a little bit different. On the draw here, you probably still have to keep something like that. But I don't love being insanely reactive. Um, I like like I like having a couple like cantrips. To be fair, like I that. mean you need an answer to living end, and he has very few. He's got the counter spells yeah, and I, he's got the damnation. The way you have to prioritize, I suppose. Yeah. yeah. Let's see. 
Let's see how many counter spells. That's, I think I see well, a mana a, leak. That's two Seer Visions and a mana leak, I think. Okay. And he's got some lands and a lightning bolt. I mean, it's not a terrible keep. Because he's not going to no. get... He's probably not going to get turn two. Yeah. Uh, especially on a mull here, so... Yeah. And like I said, this this deck can't, can't reliably turn two very much. Oh, uh, it looks like uh, Felipe's got... Lands, Ricochet Trap, Beast Within. I don't think I see any Cyclers again. I wonder if he sideboards out the Cyclers for his sideboard Some cards. Amount? Yeah, yeah, that seems not very good. I mean, he didn't bring in very much. He brought in the three Ricochet Traps, I presume, and that might be it. I, like, I mean, the, the Macabs were plus or minus, so... Like the, card I, the card I would actually board out is, like, I actually don't like Shriekma that much in this matchup. Like, you're not going to hit a lot. I mean, I wouldn't board it out completely. I might trim. No, no, no. Yeah, trim. But killing the Pyromancer, that, like, if, for instance, Geo did play the Pyromancer turn two last game, Shriekma's got to be Felipe's best turn two. That's true, too. You know, like, there are... Yeah, yeah there are instances, of yeah. course, yeah. Just knowing he's a young Pyromancer deck. Right. Geo's snapping off a Scalding Tarn here. Gotta be a Serum Visions. Yeah, he's just gonna go, go Island Serum Visions. I, you think Basic Island? I hope so, gosh. <laughs> I mean, it, nope. it, really, it, matters, it matters how many lands he has. You know, if he's got two lands total, mm -hmm. it's tough to start with uh, Basic Island, especially if he has That's any true. number of Terminates in his deck or Kologon's Commands. Basic Island is not the land you want. It just, uh, I don't know. It's just like you're not keeping in mind the fact that like part of Living End's game plan is like LD. Right, I so, think that's and, and you uh, yeah. you interact more with with non basics than you do with basics. So, so I think I think but I want to get a good do? look. How many lands does he have? Okay, he drew basic swamp, but I wonder how many he had before he draw the basic swamp. It says only oh, he's in the scalding turn, I think. Or is it an Ashiok? That's an Ashiok. Actually, I think he's an Ashiok. On a one lander. Oh no, no, that's a fetch land. Uh, under the swamp is a fetch land. Is it? Oh, is that Blood Moon? Does, does he have no, Blood he Moon in his sideboard? No, he doesn't. I I just read his sideboard. He doesn't have Blood Moon. Maybe he's cheating. Maybe he's cheating, or maybe it's in the main and we didn't look. Well, you have his deck list, so don't say we. Fair enough. All right, Felipe, untap. Two mana, pass the turn back. I don't think it's a Blood Moon. I think you do Avalanche Riders? Is that Avalanche Riders? Yeah, he, well, I think he had that in the opener. Avalanche Riders is a sweet one. How many does he have? His four? Oh, wow. Yeah, that's so what I'm saying. Like, it's This LD package is, it, like, it's pretty, really it's pretty prominent. Hard. Okay, yeah. so so he's definitely going for the play that we had anticipated hmm. last last game. And, and the serum, that, now the Shock Serum Vision makes a little bit more sense. Because now he's going to be able to cast uh, the Inquisition that he has. And another spell in the same turn, which is going to make this this pirates are really threatening. But he's on he's on no more lands, right? So he did keep a one lander. He did, yeah, he absolutely kept a one lander. I did see the Ashiok in hand, so he has the Ashiok in hand, mana leak, bolt, serum visions again. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's even an argument that like maybe you don't actually cast a spell next turn anyways. But the Inquisition, if he draws a land, the Inquisition is going to get snapped off. And I don't then, know if if my opponent hasn't cycled anything, I might just put Ashiok into play. Hmm. Like, granted, Beast Within is a card that exists that uh, Felipe might have. But Ashok just seems like a great thing to start yeah. start doing. Yeah, Ashok seems great, especially if you just start hitting living ends. Like you don't even really care so much about hitting the guys. Like you just want to hit living ends. Yeah, that's true. Like if you if you exile like one living end, that's one less counter spell you're going to need down the road. Exactly. And, and now that there's you know because uh, Felipe started with uh, Ricochet Trap, which obviously would have been insane last. Oh game. my goodness! Do you know what I think Felipe is going to do? I think he's going to see Simeon Spirit Guide out Avalanche Riders. That would be pretty devastating. I think that's what's happening here. He was he was looking at both of those cards. Uh, I mean that would be uh, that'd be a really good play. I wonder why he gets the third black source instead of like a second mountain. You don't need that much red in this deck. I know, but he already has two two lands that produce black. Yeah, but fulminator fulminator. He has a ricochet trap. Both oh, of his cascade true. spells cost red. Yeah, I'm interested. I don't, I don't know. This is actually a really this is <laughs> that's a great play. I love it. I love it. And we're attacking. Yeah. Well, I mean. It, I think you could you could block here. I think you could say I don't want to take two. I don't want to trade two for two. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'll just leave it to make it so you don't attack this turn. Oh man! So Geo's got Inquisition as his only play. Yeah, maybe you are right. Maybe you do leave it to block. I think it just depends like how the rest of your hand lines up. So Inquisition's gonna happen. I think All there's right. a Beast Within and a Ricochet Trap and a land. Yeah. Just gonna take the Beast Within, obviously. That's the only thing. You Ricochet can take. is a four, right? Yeah. 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 Oh, because obviously then it would flip over uh, from mm -hmm. the. So. Felipe needs to find something. Like, this Avalanche Rider is going to hit the bin from not being echoed. And he just has Ricochet Trap and uh, Stomping Ground. Yeah, no land is it's really devastating. Another Beast Within. Wow. So, oh man. I hope he blows up one of his lands to block. Yeah, that would be a thing. You know what I would have probably done? I probably would have shocked the Stomping Ground. Because if Geo does draw a blue source, he can mana like the Beast Within. Mm hmm. But I think this play, if Felipe does beast within his own land, oh, Felipe wow. is going to be pretty far ahead. Yeah, this is. Uh, do it. This do is it. Not good. Yeah, he's thinking about it. Beast within your swamp. He's thinking about it. Do it. Beast within your swamp and block. He only has a black. What's he scared of? He's just probably weighing the value of a beast within. Uh. I, that's got to be what it is. 
But it, you're right. You're absolutely right. I think that getting a three-three, hey, Geo stuck on one land. Yeah. Yeah. Just get a three-three, kill the pyromancer, and then start and just, attacking. Just start attacking. The, the clock is faster. And you know what? Ricochet trap on four mana, you can just leave it up. Like if Geo tries to mm -hmm. bolt, no, just, hey, bolt you. <laughs> yeah. You know, I don't want you to bolt my bees. Send I want I want the bolts to go to you. Send him right back to your face. He's gonna do it. Oh, he's he's really he's like he's waffling on. You this. know what I think? I think he's not considering blowing up his own permanent. I think he's deciding whether he wants to kill the pyromancer or not. Oh, you're right. Oh, maybe not. Oh no, no okay. He, he sees it. Yeah, all right, all right, this is cool. this is great. Yeah, this is this is. I mean, that's the, the the deck is really deep actually. There's there's lines that you don't you don't normally have to take, but yeah, this one this is a good one. What the murderous cut? Oh, oh, he kept murderous cut. If he if he shocked the stomping ground. Oh, oh yeah. no, 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 no. Because no. the uh, ricochet trap, you it, can't pay the trap cost unless someone cast a blue spell. a blue spell, yeah. So uh, that would not work. Uh, but close. Close. So, yeah, close. Oh, goodness. goodness oh, gracious. man. Yeah, well, I mean, I guess that's the downside. See, I didn't think uh, Geo would actually keep Murder's Cup, but it looks like he draws a, a, at least a, a red source, so we can get kind of get a little bit more value out of this young card monster. But he's, he's going to run away with this. Well, I mean... I don't. Th he doesn't have counter magic, so all Fubai needs is a living end type card, and the board uh, just gets wrathed, and that stabilizes. Yeah. Here's a fulminator, which is yeah. I don't think you can. Is he gonna bolt it? He's probably gonna bolt. Bolt the face, right? It's gotta, yeah. it's gotta be Felipe. Yeah, he's he's also thinking about that. Yeah, because if you bolt. Yeah, if you bolt Felipe, that puts him to six. Um, I don't know. It might force Felipe. Forcing Felipe to activate Fulminator might not be the worst play. Yeah, because here he can block and sack, right? So. Or he can just keep a, block a one-one for a turn or two. Yeah, that's true. Because he's on six, <coughs> so blocking the Pyromancer here. If I were Geo, I think he's in the Pyromancer. Yeah, you send everything. Yeah, you have to two-turn clock him. And if I'm Felipe, I think I have to draw a Wrath, so I block the Pyromancer and then I blow up the land. Mm -hmm. I don't even put the Pyromancer in his graveyard. I don't trade. If I'm Felipe, no, because y your I the idea is wow. Uh, because well, I, just because I think you're out here is yeah, to draw. Is to hit a wrath anyway. Yeah, hit yeah. a wrath, and now Geo's gonna have Pyromancer back in play even if he finds it. Yeah, that's not good. that's uh. Sp assuming Spirit Guide, but okay, yeah, that's but he's not dead. Yeah, that being said, I would die here, and Felipe is not dead here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because he drew a blocker. He drew one of the I think assuming Spirit Guide's gonna be the only draw. That's true. That rewards him for doing what he did. Yeah. But there it is. And you know what, Chris. What's that? He knows more than you do, apparently. I guess so, yeah. Felipe, on point. Knows his outs. Knows he has Seeming Spirit Guide in the deck. Wants to draw a blocker. Has it on top. I wonder if he blocks here. <laughs> he, he elects to. Yeah, I well, like I it. mean, I don't I blame agree. him. I don't blame him. Yeah. And I just want I, an extra turn. Geo has Inquisition, I think, and he knows the last card is Ricochet Trap, so it's... it's Dead. It's a mood point to, yeah. to cast. I would just hold it. Yep. And Pretend Felipe? Like you have something. What is it? Avalanche Riders. Avalanche He's riders. not dead. <laughs> He's got two blockers. Blow up the Blood Crypt. Oh my goodness. Go. Yeah. So this now, is. This now he's not dead to Lightning Bolt either. Oh. Fetch land. That's reasonable. I mean, it I turns mean, out all this counter magic. But, but, but Ricochet Felipe has Ricochet Trap. Yeah, yeah so Felipe. <laughs> okay, so we're not going to pay the Echo. Come on, Felipe. I think you have to pay the Echo, right? You just, you just you lose if you don't rip a Wrath. That's true, too. Yeah, you just pay the Echo and draw for your turn. And what just pass it? the turn. No, there's Spirit Guide? No, it's a land. Oh, <laughs> Spirit <what>? Guide? <laughs> Dude, that card's great. All right, so we're going to get a blue source. Finally unlock this hand. Um, I still I still think Felipe is, like, right in this game if he rips the right card. Yeah. If I was Geo, I don't think I would crack here. You want to draw another land? I want to. No, I want to draw a Bolt. <laughs> is what I want to draw if I'm Geo. Oh, well, yeah, sure. And sure. giving this, uh, giving him the chance to have a Fulminator Mage or another Avalanche Rider blow up my red source... Oh, oh, okay, yeah. All right, that's game. That's game, yeah. Didn't see the Snapcaster Mage actually. No. <laughs> Giovanni Gonzalez takes yeah. it. All right. Well, that was that was a pretty exciting match. There was like a lot of twists yeah. and turns in that. That um, was that fist full of blue. Bit. Didn't didn't get the blue till that turn. So, uh, you know, definitely to to his credit, uh, they both they both played to their outs. They both played relatively like uh, exactly how they needed to play. Right. Yeah, I think like, very the, tight the, play the, from both of them. The turn the turn three Avalanche Riders was great. Um, <laughs> Turn three avalanche riders, and then the beast with it. If that resolves, that I'm. I think he runs ahead. away. I think he's ahead. Yeah, he, yeah. he runs away. The murderous cut, man. Yeah, out of nowhere. That know murderous where. cut was. Oh my god, that was so good. That was it. That was. I mean, I think that was the difference. You know, uh, ironically enough, the reason why there's a murderous cut is because there's so many lands in the bin. Yeah. So I mean, kind of worked. You know, but how can you know that? Yeah. You know, you just can't. You can't play around that. You can't. And you know. I don't fault. 
I mean, I, you gotta go for it. That's like, a strong. No, Felipe's no, no. on air. On, on literally that beast within plays looks so on, good. On literally anything else, that is a very strong play. I agree. 